Hello, welcome back to another video. Thank you to start off for all the subscribers that have recently joined us. 411, I believe now. Thank you very much. I'm very surprised it shot up over the last few days. Thank you. Right, so this is going to be a video about presentation. So, got a couple of points to go over. Let's start. Right, yourself. Obviously, most of us, most of the time, are going to be in orange high vises, yellow high vises, steel toe cap boots. We all look the same, but you can still present yourself well. Don't wear scruffy clothes. Don't wear a battered, dirty hoodie. Stay clean. Stay fresh. Right, we've got the uh, the Freddie Fletcher hoodies, the Freddie Fletcher uh, polo tops to look smart underneath our high vises. I wear jeans or I've got some um, work trousers or I've got uh, some shorts for work. I don't wear like ripped, scruffy, dirty jeans or joggers with big holes in them or anything like that. You've got to stay looking professional, aren't you? It doesn't matter that we're courier drivers and we sit in the van most of the time. Wear something comfortable, yeah, but also look smart for your customers. You don't want to be looking scruffy because they, they think you look scruffy and they might not use you again. Like at the end of the day, you're representing someone else's company, aren't you? Most of the time, if you're doing a CX job or you're delivering on someone else's behalf, so just make sure you look presentable. Like another point, if you if you think well, just a point in general, keep spare clothes in your van because there's always times where you might get absolutely soaking or you might get. Uh, covered in mud on a site or you might get covered in dirt or grease or whatever you're doing you might get covered in something and you don't want to sit in your van in that all day bring a spare clear of clothes uh, your first job of the day you might get full of mud or soaked so you might be able to get changed ready for your second job so you, you look more presentable or <laughs> sorry to bring this up but dave dave anvil made a video recently he broke down unfortunately <laughs> doing one of my jobs unfortunately and um, he's got his feet wet he's wearing canvas steel toe cap shoes he got his feet wet he had spare socks but he was missing one of his spare boots so he had nothing to put on his feet and keep his feet warm just make sure you got spare footwear spare socks spare pants and everything keep them all in your van I hope you're doing well Dave I'm sorry about your cold feet and sending you pictures of slippers but uh, I hope you're doing well and your van gets back on the road shortly, pal. Right, point number two, your van. So obviously you're in your van all day. You don't want to be sat in a little cesspool. Keep it clean and tidy around you. Obviously you're going to have your drinks and stuff and your food with you if you've got food with you. And all your paperwork. Try and keep it as tidy as you can. Uh, saying that at this minute in time my van is not that tidy but it does really need a clean uh it's been a busy week that's another point keep the outside of your van as clean as possible obviously we're running up and down the motorway every day it's coming to winter it's not going to be that easy but try and clean it once a week try and start the week off fresh have a nice clean smart van most of the time your customers or the forkies aren't going to be looking in the cab so that's all right you keep all your stuff in the cab they're going to be loading the back of your van so the last thing you want is your straps on the floor, ad, empty ad blue bottles and screen washer bottles everywhere. Just keep it presentable. Keep it clean and tidy, clean space. Always ready to load. Just, you don't want to be pulling up somewhere and then moving all the straps about and faffing about if you can get loaded straight away directly. It makes it a lot cleaner. Just keep it tidy, keep it clean. Have a nice presentable van. Like I said, winter coming up, the outside's gonna get dirty. Make sure you keep cleaning your windows and your lights because if you're driving at night or you're driving in the dark, your lights will get dimmer if they're dirty. And obviously you need to see out these windows and in their mirrors so you can keep visibility around you at all times. Right, obviously I like to go into every day with a positive attitude. Not everybody does. Some people wake up on the wrong side of the bed, go to work and don't enjoy their day. You need to stay calm and enjoy your day. So your attitude, be respectful. Doesn't matter if that forklift driver is being a pain in the ass. 
be nice to him, be kind. Don't matter if the woman in the office is grumpy, be polite, talk to her with some respect, be like, just be nice. Put off a nice aura. I said aura, that's weird. Right, D don't be rude to people is what I'm trying to say. You never know, it might get you somewhere. If you're not rude to the forky, he might load you quicker. Yo, you might still be waiting. You never know. If you're not rude to the woman in the office, she might get your paperwork sorted quicker. If you're polite, people will remember you for being polite and not rude. And that shipper might use you again and again and again. And keep you on their books. Like, you, there's no point in going in somewhere. If the forky's arsy with you, don't be arsy back. It's not what's the point just be polite okay sir sorry i can see you're busy please just get me loaded as quick as you can and you never know he might come and load you or he might go on his dinner because he thinks you're being sarcastic or something but there's no harm in being polite right as you may have noticed i'm in a different setting now i'm back at home uh i was in thetford when I was filming the last couple of last couple of clips, and uh, it came to close to ten o'clock, and I needed to try and get some Peter Peter K tickets, uh, but unfortunately the website went down, and I sat there for like an hour and a half, two hours, unable to get any. So I bit annoyed, and then I drove back. So number four, I think, uh, professionalism. So obviously in this industry we want our own customers and stuff like that so if we need to approach them first of all like emails phone calls maybe meetings so if you're going to email your customer spell check everything before you send that email have someone you know check it and make sure it sounds okay make sure you're not repeating yourself make sure you don't sound a bit daft or use a spell check software to just double check everything's spelled right because you do not want to come across as unprofessional or not knowing what you're talking about it's just common courtesy to be polite, be courteous, be professional when approaching customers. Or even on the CX, when you're bidding on a job, when they phone you, be polite, just don't, don't go, all right, mate, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, no worries. Just be like, oh, yes, sir, yes. James at Freddie Fletcher Limited, yeah, I'd love to do that job for you. Thank you very much, sir, thank you. And then, try and, when you're speaking, try and, come across as you know what you're talking about like there's been times in the past where i've approached a company from my previous employer and i've been sent there to approach them and i've been given the wrong information i've got there and i've looked daft so i was approaching a flooring company i was expecting them to do rolls of flooring rolls of vinyl rolls of cap it i got there telling them we can move all that stuff and they were like oh we don't do that stuff we do uh, concrete flooring and we do pours and stuff like that do you have the facility to pour concrete for us and i was like oh i look a bit daft now because i've just been trying to sell us but i've been given the wrong information so always do your research before you approach someone make sure you know what they do make sure you can offer them a service that they actually need there's no point approaching someone if they don't need your service at the end of the day so make sure you're always doing that right now everyone watches this what probably watches all the other youtubers like dave dave neil firkin john everyone like that and everyone tries to come across in a knowledgeable professional manner and i think that's how all drivers should come across to any shippers if they're doing cx work if they're doing anything for their own customers they should be polite be knowledgeable just have some courtesy and know what you're talking about. Give them the right price and everything like that. So it, it might get you nowhere in, in, in the industry. It might get you noticed. You know, like if you're be, being professional, companies might use you again and again and again because they know that you're going to represent their company in a professional manner, in a courteous manner and look good. timekeeping now we can all get stuck in traffic we can all have delays we can all really need to stop for the loop whilst we're on our route keep track of your time if you're gonna if you're supposed to be picking up eight o'clock in the morning and you're running 10 minutes late you should be okay if you're in half hour late let that shipper know that you're gonna be a bit late if you need to stop for the loop 
10 times because you had something dodgy to eat at the last services. <laughs> Obviously don't tell the shipper that you're uh, on the toilet a lot. Just say that you've been having some delays and you're running a little bit late to their delivery. Because most people, they know that if the job's going to take four hours and you're picking up at eight, you should be there for 12. So they're, they're looking for your, you on the CX to be on the site between 12 and half past. Any later than that, you need to let them know if it's going to be one o'clock, half one. Let them know, just say there's been some delays, I've been delayed, I've had to stop for a pee, I've had to stop to get fuel, I'm doing my best, I'll be there as quick as I can. Just let the shipper know, it's just courtesy. And the better you are at timekeeping, the better you are at being on time, the more likely you are that a shipper is going to use you again and again. Right, so if you're going to be tidy, clean, professional, on time, and always courteous, you're on the way to being a top-notch driver. Honestly, it takes a lot more than that, but these are just some qualities that you're going to need to be noticed more by shippers and used more regularly. So keep your prices how you want to price. Stick to your guns. Don't drop your prices. As soon as a shipper notices that you're doing a good job for them, you're being courteous. You're, their customers really like you coming into them because you're a professional driver that knows what they're doing then they will use it again and again and again. I do it myself. I use the same drivers for jobs if I can get them because I know they're professional, they're courteous, they've got a clean van, the customer's never gonna moan about them and they're gonna do a good job on time for me. Finally, before we finish, I've had a couple of experiences recently where customers have actually phoned me to say, please don't ever send that driver in again and i've had to have that conversation with the driver and it's been from everything from a lack of knowledge and not knowing what they're doing not knowing how to like secure a load not 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 interacting with the customer whilst they're loading um the smell of smoke on the drivers has put a couple of customers off because they've come into the office and stuck the office out and nobody wants that and just like batter up old vans uh, rusty buckets basically like nobody wants one of them turning up to take the load because you never know if it's going to make it or not right please thank you please thank you that doesn't make any sense but thank you very much everyone for watching thank you very much for all the new subscribers uh, please do like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video bye bye ladies and gentlemen Look who's here. Da -da -da! <laughs> that bit was gruesome, mate. Was it? Gruesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, I do the filming <laughs> for you. If you want me, you've got to pay licence fees for that. All oh, right. <laughs> I'm paying you to come here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, well, that was something brilliant. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone from YouTube. As you know, David from Amble Logistics. Um, got more viewers than uh, James, <laughs> so make yeah. sure you subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, and he's here in his new whip, his little Citroen Bolingo that fits a nice Euro palette in there. Very nice. Look at that, eh? All right, perfect squeeze. Rising them out gets in these little Bolingos, mate. Got my fat arse in. So. <laughs> 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 <laughs>